Today we're talking about formal rights. A couple of weeks ago, the Court of Rome issued a landmark decision in the context of formal rights. This is a breath of fresh air for valuable formal owners, also in light of the copycatting practice that emerged in the market, endorsed by court decision which effectively permitted plagiarism of television format. The case was commenced in 2011 by BBC Worldwide, which is the exclusive licensee for BBC of the very well-known format Strictly Come Dancing. The case was commenced against Endemol and RTI, an Italian broadcaster of the Mediaset Group, which launched a television dance competition based on a Mexican format named Bailando por un Sueño. BBC Worldwide, which we represented, claimed that the production of television program based on the Mexican format amounted to infringement of its copyright in the Strictly Come Dancing format. The basic feature of the BBC format are a weekly knockout dance competition between couples comprising a professional dancer and a celebrity, judged by a panel of professional judges. Each week a couple is eliminated and each weekly episode comprises rehearsal film during the previous week. Viewers can vote and their vote is combined with the judge's vote. Predictably, in the light of the court precedent, the defendant claimed that the BBC format could not be protected because it is based on elements widely used in other television shows. However, the court was persuaded that the concept of novelty has no basis in copyright law, and as a result it is immaterial under a copyright perspective whether a format comprises new elements or not. The only question to be answered is whether the combination of all such elements has a level, albeit limited, of creativity. The court found that the BBC format satisfied this test and that the production bible of the Mexican format comprises all elements of the BBC format. The different elements in the production bible of the Mexican format would have been irrelevant in the eyes of the public. This is a breakthrough decision in the context of format rights, which reverses the previous approach followed by the IP courts over the years. Courts have always applied a very restrictive approach to format protection, based on the principle that format, just like any other copyright work, can be protected to the extent that it comprises creative or new element, as distinct from any other existing television programs or format. It doesn't take a course on copyright law to understand that this is a very high threshold to be met for the vast majority of format that circulate in the market. As a result of this approach, courts denied protection to former owners in most, if not all, cases. The new non-novelty approach followed by the Court of Rome will have the effect of significantly strengthening copyright protection for former owners and making Italy a leading jurisdiction to litigate over former rights. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to come on back for more great news.